This podcast is sponsored by Release Winery. Every wine tells a story. Each growing season, it's our goal to create an artisan Napa Valley wine of exceptional quality. Join us as the story of this ultra-limited wine continues. Learn more at releasewinery.com. Yeah, so this, is, uh, this has been uh, the first town where I came when I was 15 years old, uh, where I have started my career in the wine. I was with my big brothers, and uh, we were here to try to sell the wine. So, so I have a very beautiful memories about uh, Chicago. I am the younger of uh, eight brothers and sisters, so we are a big Italian family, so it's, it is good. Well, uh, it's, uh, it's quite recently uh, talking in the Italian way. That means that we have started in 1950 and uh, our first uh, bottles of wine, of Brunello, has been released on the market in 1954. We are one of the regional producers in the area. When my father bought in, uh, in 1949, there were only six producers. No, only five. We are the sixth producer to have entered inside the history of the Brunello di Montalcino. Now we are much more. Uh, but uh, I think that to be original, that means that we have more experience and that we need when we talk about Sangiovese Grosso, and, uh, which is a, such a unique grape that needs experience. But Sangiovese is uh, so, so unique, so sensitive, uh, so delicate grape, and uh, especially because it reacts a lot depending on the place where you have it. And that's why we presume to say that Montalcino is the most, uh, is the best place where to grow this grape, because it's a complex mosaic of a soil and we have three different climate conditions. So it's the perfect place, it's a perfect location where to achieve such a high standard quality of wine. The area is very small. It's a Singapore town uh, uh, size, so it's only 240 square kilometers. It's very small. But the, in the middle of this square, we have a long hill, like a, like a horseback, which separates perfectly the north from the south. At one star, and then in one side, in the east side, there are the, the, the big hill become rounds, and there we have the perfect condition. So the south is warmer, so that we have uh, the ripening of the grapes up a little bit earlier. The north is affecting from the winds coming, the cool winds coming from the north. So we have uh, the, uh, the ripening of the grape is lower, and we keep more floral side, we have a more elegance. The east is the combination of uh, the bloody Brunello, typical from the south, and the elegance of, uh, of the north. So, so the east side is a wonderful place where to be. We have uh, 36 different vineyards and uh, we, have, uh, we have to make an exact map of where to, where to grow to, to, to harvest. Because even the soil condition makes a completely different uh, uh, ripening of, on the grapes. So in this time, I have my nephew at the winery who takes care of that. He is the winemaker together with the, the agronomist, the Dr. Fabrizio. They make, uh, we have been the first to have introduced the phenolic maturity concept, uh, which is uh, more complex than the technological maturity, which was based all in sugar contents and uh, in pH and, and acidity. There we go to discover when is the best moment to extract from the grape into the future wine the, as much substances as possible, as much polyphenol as possible to have a, a great quality. We have been using this system since 1995 and each one of our 36 vineyards are analyzed in that terms and that helps us to make an exact map where to go to harvest, where to start to harvest. No, honestly, this, uh, this has been a quite strange um, harvest. Uh, 2017 is, has been a very, very warm climate uh, vintage. We have to start to harvest. But this doesn't mean that the grace is perfectly ripened. Like uh, the 2016, when we have a very wonderful uh, vintage, and we have harvested starting from the 23rd to 25th of September, like it was... Uh, good to start to harvest. Like it's the same, we have a 40% lost 
Uh, when you say 40%, you're talking 40% of your crop? Oh, for the crop, That's yes. That's amazing. Wow. Yes, it's amazing. And, uh, and this is not a wonderful vintage. I think uh, that's, uh, when it's too much, uh, too much sun, it's like when we have too much rain. The perfection in nature is uh, something different, is the regularity. So we, we need to have rain when, uh, when the vines need to have uh, water and we need to have sunshine when the device needs it to, to bring it to the right ripening of the grape. This year has been a little bit difficult. Yes, we need to have balance in the wine. That's what we would like. It's our goal is to have the perfect balance between the nose, the mouth, and even the taste. In the past, it was very difficult. Now, I have one of the family who take care of the, of, the, of the vineyards, and of the harvest is our enologist, Emanuele Nardi, and has been trained for 10 years and now it's much easier than before. My art, I know, <laughs> can be very hard, but there is someone there to take care with the same, in the same way I, I have done in the past, with myself. It's a big honor for me to be here in Chicago, Ray. This podcast is sponsored by Release Winery. Every wine tells a story. Each growing season, it's our goal to create an artisan Napa Valley wine of exceptional quality. Join us as the story of this ultra-limited wine continues. Learn more at releasewinery.com.